Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. This is from January the 21st to the 27th, <clears throat> and there is a throat chakra blockage coming your way. Oh my goodness. If you're new to the channel, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Monday, giving you your weekly dose of weekly angel guidance to help you deal with the energies associated with what's coming up for the next week. Now, these readings are general, so just take from them what feels truly best for you, and let's get cracking. So, we're going to be starting the week off on Monday, where we have the lunar eclipse in the first degree of Leo. So, check on the screen right now, and I'll tell you exactly how this affects you. So if you're in LA, this is going to happen at 9.16 p.m. on your Sunday. So for the rest of you, this occurs on Monday, the January the 21st. So New York, this is 12.16 a.m. London, 5.16 a.m. Delhi, 10.46 a.m. Brisbane, 3.16 p.m. And Auckland, 6.16 p.m. So that's when the lunar eclipse is going to hit, but some of you may have already been feeling the effects um, from this like maybe a month or maybe a week. It's completely up to you to see like how in tune you are. Um, but yeah, this is powerful and this is going to be lasting for the next six months, laying the foundations for the next six months, which is gonna prepare us for what's going to come in the next few decades. So <laughs> it's a pretty big deal. Also with, a beautiful full moon. Well, because this one is a lunar eclipse in the first degree of Leo, it's actually a full moon on steroids. So that means that it is extra powerful. And this is the perfect time to truly release anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. So you can check out my full moon ritual on my channel. I'll link it for you on the end card. And this is a time to really think about what hasn't been serving you? This could literally be like a digital cleanse, going through social media and unfollowing or unfriending anyone that isn't in alignment with where you want to be. I know for me, I remember, I go through those stages all the time. I follow people on Instagram and then I'm, I'm like, when their post comes up, I'm like, no, I thought I wanted to follow you. Maybe I don't now, or maybe I've just up leveled so quickly that I've outgrown those people. So I only follow people who, well, I've only got a very close amount of friends and family on my, my Instagram, but I follow accounts that make me feel good about myself and accounts that make me question um, life and to think outside of the box. So think about what that looks like for you. This could literally be you going through and starting to Komari your house, going through and finding what truly sparks joy in every area of your life, um, there's actually an app for Komari as well. Um, highly recommend you check it out. When I did Komari to my house, which actually infiltrated into my whole life because it's not just about getting rid of possessions that don't spark joy. It's about clearing out any any toxicity or anything you've been holding on to that you didn't realize. And it's about saying thank you. Thank you for serving me in a time of my life, but now I release you and I set myself free. Um, so Kamari could be another way. This could literally be writing a letter to somebody um, and then burning it. This could literally be having a conversation with someone and, and just say, you know, it really upset me when you said this or I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done and now I need to leave this relationship. You know, there is so many different ways to release. Oh my God, I don't know what's happening. Maybe this is my crown chakra. So this is like this connected to, connectedness to source. I just... As soon as I hit record, the throat chakra blockage, well, the throat chakra blockage was coming before I press record, but then the top of my head feels funny, like it's overstimulated. Maybe there's like cosmic downloads are gonna be coming through to you this week. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so, okay, so the eclipse is going to be the strongest from Monday to Wednesday. Obviously, it's going to be lasting for a lot longer than that. Um, but then from Thursday to Sunday, that is the disseminating moon. This is when you receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. I just had a mental blank and thought, oh yeah, I am recording. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, am I recording? Um, 
Yeah, so you're receiving abundance from expected and unexpected sources. This doesn't necessarily need to manifest in like, I just got this new car or I got this new tarot deck. It, it can literally be like, I flip and love the shit out of myself. Like it can be that. It can be like, I'm so proud of myself for what I have accomplished. You know, it's it can be, oh, there's so many different things. Anything is possible. Um, so yeah, you're going to see little seeds being planted or for some of you that have been putting in the work um, for a while, you may see some pretty big things manifest for you. So just take from it what feels truly best for you. All right, let's get on to the reading. We're using the Shadowscapes Tarot today. So uh, let's just see what we need to know for Monday. Okay, angels. Well, there we go. Monday's cards are up, but there is two of them. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me just pull up my screen from last week so I can see where are the cards? I'm just looking to see what, because we've got two cards. Oh, I don't know what's happening to my head. Okay, there is a lot going on. So the first card that I saw is the Queen of Cups. And this is like, it's like being so emotionally free and so emotionally like, oh, well, this is on the full moon. So it's like you're doing something on this full moon that allows you to feel emotional freedom, emotional stability, emotional release, emotional empowerment, whatever adjective you want to use to describe this emotional state in which you're in, this is like liberating delicious goodness. So this is a really good thing. And it's like you have freed yourself of the restraints of things that have been holding you down, suppressing your energy, have been blocking you from being able to manifest what you need to. You've done the work on this full moon on Monday or Sunday, depending on where you are in the world. And you're really making yourself a priority and you've literally gone like, I'm ready to have a dance party because that makes me feel good. I feel, I saw like movement in the knees. Like, you know how a baby is like just learning to walk and the baby is just like moving up and down. Like that's what I saw, movement of the knees. I don't know why that's where I saw that. Oh, the knees represents the lower part of your body, which is your root chakra. So you have found, you've grounded your energy, you have found security and stability um, in either your finances, you have you've made plans to move somewhere and you're like, oh my God, why is my head so itching? Ah! How does my hair look? Okay, it's fine. It's just free. And I hear, cause I'm the queen of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's like you're just, you're just emotionally free. It's like you have done something that you're super duper proud of. It's interesting because last week on Tuesday we had the Ace of Cups and now we've got the Queen. But then we also got the Strength card, which is a major arcana. So it's like you have found your inner strength. You have, you've done something on Monday or Sunday, depending on where you are in the world, because I'm reading from Australian times and I'm about 10 hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. Um, oh, Greenwich Mean Time. I remember when I was there at the actual, I don't know what you call it. You know when you go on the boat on the river in London to Greenwich and you go, I don't know what you call that place. The place where all the lines change. Anyways, I got distracted then because then I started thinking about England. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go back. Anyways, I just feel a bit distracted now. So I'm gonna move on. So this is like emotional freedom, but then you've found your inner strength. And it's interesting because we've got the strength card and this is in Leo, which is the lion. And then I heard, um, uh, Katy Perry, two songs just came up. Raw, um, and I got the eye of the tiger. It's like you're on just this quest and it's like this year you're totally looking after you and you are, that was like yes, last week when we had Unconditional um, from Katy Perry as well. I will love you unconditionally. It's like you, you, you're learning to love yourself unconditionally and you, I know you have gotten to the stage now where you know that you have to release people and you have to release 
things that are blocking these new delicious people or things or situations that are trying to come into your life. You know, you don't want to be where you were at the end of last year. You are on a journey to progress forward and on the journey, you have to let things go. That's like when I moved to England, I had 20 kilos worth of luggage and I was like, this is everything that I own. And I got rid of everything that didn't serve my highest good because that was the direction in which my angel said you had to move, which is 10 years ago. Holy flip. But I have some good news. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay, this is Tuesday. Ooh, did we get this? I'm losing track now because I'm reading for my coaching clients and I'm reading for you guys now. So I'm like, ah, I pulled this card last week and I've just checked my computer and it wasn't for you. So we have the three of wands. This is amazing. This is like you're doing things that most people are too flippin' scared to do. And it's, <laughs> I want to break free. It's like you've, okay, have a look. Can you see all of those like crosses and all of those pebbles that are along this path? That is people who didn't have the balls to finish what they started. They got too scared. They, they turned into fear junkies, you know? They didn't, they're not like you and I, the freedom lovers who are persevering forward into this scary unknown land. It's scary when you make these decisions and you make room for what's to come. Hold tight for next month because there is two massive things that are happening in my life that you're gonna be like, oh my God, Mel, whoa, where did that come from? You know, and I've been wanting to tell you since September, September, and you know, I had to exercise my throat chakra and not tell you what I want to tell you because I want to leave it as a surprise, but it's really hard, you know, when you get really excited. Anyways, back to this card. What is it? The three of wands. So this is moving towards your passions, moving in the direction of what sets your soul on fire. This is like, no, you're not gonna listen to your mom. No, you're not gonna listen to your dad or your best friend. You are going to listen to you. Tap into that intuition. That is in alignment with your soul purpose, your soul mission, what you were born to do when you were created and born onto this, into this earth, into this earth, on this earth. You know, when your mom gave birth to you, you know, she, she doesn't have the option to say, now because I birthed you, I control you. No, her job was to bring you life. And you say, mom, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much. But I have this from here. I've got this. You know, don't allow other people's opinions, other people trying to live vicariously through you. Whatever it is, you choose your path and you're going for it because you're like, this is so flipping scary. It is so scary, but I know that this is in alignment with my true authentic self. I know this is where I need to be. And I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm taking the path of least resistance. It feels easy, effortlessly, and it feels, it's freedom. It's freedom however it looks like for you. And yeah, it's scary. You know, if it wasn't scary, then you wouldn't want it enough. It's like also like solidifying your why. Why do you want to do it? Why are you persevering when things get tough? Why, why, why are you doing it? Why, why, why am I talking so much? Oh, good Lord, there's a lot of cards there. Three cards came up for Wednesday. Holy flipping heck, right. Two major arcanas. Okay, the first one is the tower. We haven't received the tower in a long time. So this is your foundation. This is your root chakra. This is your stability. Your stability is going away. The stability has to go away. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. My stability is definitely changing in about two weeks or three weeks, three weeks, 20 days, it's changing. Um, and this is making room. So whatever happens in eclipse season, say thank you. What is the lesson? if it's a divine intervention and say, what do I need to know? This is a house, you could be moving house, this could be changing careers, this could be ending a relationship. Something to do with your root chakra, that stability and that foundation that interconnects to your whole life, it is shifting. But this is a good shift because what happens in eclipse season, it's your angels takes you off one train track and puts you on another because this is where you need to be. Yeah, it's painful, 
If you're upset, cry it out. Cry until you have no tears left and then pick yourself back up to the floor and you'll be like, I am incredible. I am forever conscious of my true worth. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. It is amazing. I am so happy and grateful now that beautiful high vibrational relationships are magnetically drawn to me with drawn towards me easily effortlessly and in avalanches of abundance the other card we got is the three of swords so this is it's a painful time it's a painful oh good lord heart chakra Whew. i feel like i have indigestion um so three of swords is a moment to release, which is interesting that this is coming up in eclipse season, but this is also like letting go and it's okay. And then I heard, got no tears left to cry. So I'm picking it up, picking it up, living, I'm loving, I'm living it up. Oh. Just chanted Ariana Grande again. What's, what is the song? I'm living, I'm living. What did I just say? I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, hold on, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, oh, I'm living it up, oh, <laughs> what is the, oh, I've got no tears left to cry, ah, oh, okay, so I feel like, okay, I feel like with this one you already knew what that was because it came up so much, like, it came up for months, this card, so I feel like you're aware of it, if you're on the right, path if you're not aware of it this could be really really painful for you um, but this is like mourning what used to what used to be uh, how things used to be but it's okay to feel sad like it really is okay to feel sad and this song let me just see if i can find some lyrics um so i can just figure out the rest of the words because sometimes i hear songs but then the messages are in the lyrics Right now I'm in a state of mind. I want to be like, I want to be in like all the time. Ain't got no tears left to grow. So I'm picking it up, picking it up. I'm loving, I'm living, I'm picking it up. Yeah. She says the same thing for like five paragraphs. Okay, so that's the first song we've just channeled. No tears left to cry from Ariana Grande. It's like, okay. You may have been hurt so flippin' badly that there's no tears left to cry. Oh, God. Goosebumps. <laughs> that one was for my beautiful mama bear. <laughs> you know, it's okay if there's no tears left to cry because you have healed. Oh my gosh, okay. So if you've gotten to the stage where you feel like there's no more tears left to cry, if you can speak about a traumatic situation and you don't get upset, you are healed. You are absolutely healed and you should be so happy and grateful that you have gotten your stage, gotten yourself to that stage, however that's looked like for you. Then we have the Knight of Wands. It's like, I'm not messing around, you know? I got no tears left to cry because you, um, someone's been holding you back and then I just heard, um, there's nothing holding me back. Da, bum, bum. Isn't that Sean Mendes? Um, holding me back. I think that's in one of my playlists on Spotify. Yeah, there's nothing holding me back. That's about a relationship too. Ooh, is this relationship based? Is this relationship with yourself? Maybe... Like last year we had like a lot of crazy stuff happen. We also had the Venus retrograde. So maybe this is bringing up stuff that happened during that time. And it's like, you're sweeping, you're sweeping the floor clean, fresh slate, get rid of it. But you're on a mission and you're, like, you're not get, giving up. Don't stop me now. All right, Thursday is the disseminating moon. So we're receiving abundance. I think this is emotional abundance. Could be house. I know this house it ends in February. I'm gonna pull that one. Holy flipping heck, we got the two of cups, yo! Hey, didn't we have that last week? <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's like you're just sitting there. Yo, dude, what up? Two of cups, maybe that was a week before. Was it? Or maybe I'm getting mixed up with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the Two of Cups. So this is like the balance of the yin and the yang. You're, we're getting, this is the third week in a row about balance. So it's like, okay, something had to move. 
And what you're receiving, you're receiving your abundance. No, your abundance. <laughs> well, that is abundance. It's like emotional, emotional balance, unconditional balance, intuitive balance. However this looks like for you, you're finding your balance and it feels so flipping good. You're using your emotional guidance scale to lead you on the right path, you know? Are you choosing to make these decisions with the tower and with the three of swords from a place of love, the top level of the emotional guidance scale, or are you choosing to make these in a place of fear, scarcity, depression, powerlessness? Are you being controlled? Because your angels are saying, honey, <laughs> honey, <laughs> yeah, um, that's true me then, I never say that word. Um, yeah, they're just basically saying that you're finding your balance. You had to allow something to go so you can feel that, that balance. Okay, let's see what we need to know for Friday. Interesting week. Wednesday's interesting, but that's most of you could be your Tuesday afternoon. Um, please, I will just like one. And I'm getting flustered. Like I'm getting really hot now. And the air conditioning's on. By the way, I have the power back on this week. <laughs> it was up for three hours. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh my God, the Page of Cups again. When did we have the Page of Cups? Page of Cups was Sunday. Okay, so this is like taking a moment to be like, oh my freaking God, like I did it. Like I manifested this expected or unexpected abundance and it feels so good. And it's like taking time, I don't know, I feel like I need to eventually design my own tarot deck with my beautiful Joe, which we've talked about. <laughs> and one day I'm going to pay her a shit ton of money. Be like, Joe, here's however much money. Eat your heart out. Just infuse a bit of mel into it. Like, definitely tea. And Joe's a very tea person too. Anyway, um, it's definitely my British roots coming in. But this just reminds me of drinking a chai tea. Chai tea, oh my gosh. It's just that happy place, that place that makes you feel good. This could be, you know, soothing the throat chakra. This could be like drinking something that makes, that, that's a self-love practice to you. That's not alcohol. We don't want you to be dehydrated and we don't want you to block your third eye chakra. Because I remember when I stopped drinking, like I don't really, I think I had like one glass of wine all last year. And I did that because I was reading professionally for my beautiful clients. And I found that when I did drink, not that I wanted to when I was in that realm, it just felt like I didn't want to block anything coming in. So it's like, whatever you're drinking or whatever you're doing, it's like you're doing this because it comes from a place of love and you don't want to block, block the flow of abundance coming into your life. Does that make any sense? Never read the page of cups like that. Just taking a moment to just, breathe in and just be like, oh, I'm so happy and grateful for all of this expected and unexpected abundance. There is something that's really gonna be like, wow. It's kind of like your wow moment to be like, I did this and I did this because of the work that I have been doing has literally been coming from a place of love. All right, Saturday. Still in the disseminating moon. This is the receiving, oh gosh. Eight of Swords. Ah, oh, this card is like so negative. Um, but this one, it depends. Well, it's it is like not the best. Like, look what's around thorns and barbed wire and this poor beautiful little swan, or just call it there. But have a look at the little bird above. And this is like in the moments when like the tower crashes down. <laughs> and I heard London bridges fall. But falling down, falling down. <laughs> Whatever is falling away, it's not a bad thing. It's how you react to it. In the moment when that happens, say thank you. No matter what happens, I want your immediate response to be thank you. And then you get a choice how you react to it. So someone could be pushing your buttons and you know, whatever, saying some horrible rubbish about you, but you have a choice to react. Whenever that happens, I channel Louise L. Hay and I'm like, okay, what would Louise do? Do She'd be like, darling, I release you and I set you free. You know? Um, um, I feel like this is the throat chakra. I feel like this is like how you choose. You know, do you choose 
well, really, have a look at the bird at the bottom. Let me, the, 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 I can't even talk today. <clears throat> the bird above, and that bird can guide you out of these thorns and be like, okay, stop flapping your wings around. Like, just stop. Just stop. Stop whatever, like, <laughs> my mom used to always say to us, stop your rot. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to say to a child of their feelings of emotions, but it's like, just stop what you're doing and just breathe. Like, literally breathe in. Hold, two, three, four, exhale. And just breathe. Stop flapping your wings around. You're making a fool of yourself. Just breathe through it. And this little bird, or this is your intuition, or this is a friend, or this is a coach, or this is someone around you is saying, Dallin, I have this figured out for you. You have to trust me and you have to know that I'm going to lead you to the most delicious goodness that you could have ever possibly dreamed of. And by you working yourself up, you're not serving anyone and you're not helping yourself in the situation. So let me guide you so you don't cut your beautiful wings, you know? And this is like the bird is helping to guide you out of this. Or you can stay in that mess and you can die. That's a terrible, that's terrible that that just came out of my mouth. Um, it can kill your soul. Do you mean like, you know, it, it's toxic for your soul. I think because I just saw the the swan's skulls. You know, you can choose to suffer in silence or you can ask for help and be like, look, I tried to do what you said, but it isn't working. I need you to help me. Like, what do I do from here? Don't just sit there and suffer in silence. I feel like if you're struggling, speak up for yourself. Maybe you haven't done this before and you've had this deficient um, throat chakra blockage or you're excessive and you're like, this is, this is a lot of bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. It's just like, shut up. <laughs> shut up if you talk too much. And if you never speak up for yourself, ask for help. I think that's what I'm trying to say. What is happening to my camera? Why do I feel that the table has moved? Oh, mate, let's just go with it. <laughs> All right, Sunday. Does that make sense, the Eight of Swords? Just shut up <laughs> if you talk too much and ask for help and just calm your farm. Well, there it is. I'm getting so hot and flustered with that one. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so it's all going to be worth it. It's all going to be worth it. It's all going to be worth it in the end because you are the queen. You are beautiful. You're nurturing. You're so grounded and you have everything that you, ha that you need. You have everything that you need. You have a roof above your head. You have internet to watch me. So you're obviously watching on a phone or a tablet or a computer or whatever it is. You have so much abundance. And it's not interesting that that came in the receiving phase of the moon. Maybe you're receiving that expected or unexpected abundance that just blows your socks off. And you're like, oh my gosh, like that feels so amazing. I don't know, however this looks, this could be a new job, this could be a new relationship, this could be a new house, this could be emotional freedom, emotional stability, this could be self-love, looking in the mirror and looking at your curves and you'll be like, I am beautiful. Everybody, come see how good I look. You know, like, what does this queen of pentacles represent in your life? Like, this is a general reading. The MK Love Fam is huge. Like, what does this mean for you? Wow. I don't want to give you a focus card because I feel like the focus card for this week is finding this emotional stability, the emotional stability and the strength card. I feel like those two are kind of, well, they're definitely linked together because that comes out on Monday, but I feel like that's the start of the eclipse season with the lunar eclipse in Leo, finding that strength. You've got to find your inner strength, however this looks like for you. This is a powerful week for you to really like Find your inner strength. Like, what does that inner strength look like for you? Maybe that's what I call this week, inner strength. How does this look like for you? This new fabulous you that you are creating for this year. Don't you dare settle. Find that inner strength within yourself to be the leading lady of your own life. Don't settle for a relationship where you're treated like second best. Don't stay in a job that is toxic for your soul. You know, you have the power to change. You need to harness that inner... Um, not inner warrior. You have to harness that inner strength, that inner line, that inner roar. I just looked at the time and it says 11.01. So this is this new chapter. You're defining what this new strength looks like. 
Maybe you've never even noticed that you had this strength, but it's been buried deep inside you all along. You just, you were just caught up in some toxic bullshit or, you know, one, I heard escapade, one escapade after another. <laughs> Whatever you've been going through, you're starting fresh. You're starting a new chapter. You're taking your power back. You know, someone's not pulling the strings and be like, today you're going to wear your hair like this. And today you're not going to back chat. Today you are going to walk. Today you're going to do this. You know, it's like, hold on a moment. You are the leading lady or gentleman of your own life. So you have the power to choose and to script and to manifest your dream life. So don't settle. I think that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and then I heard from Lila Lila, settle, settle, settle. He's like, I don't want to settle. You're not settling. You're not settling because you're making yourself a priority. You're finding that inner strength, that inner warrior, that inner goddess, that inner God. And you are just breathing. <laughs> oh my God. I lost my train of thought. But do you know what I'm trying to say? Say like, Look after yourself, make all decisions from a place of love. You know, spend time to just breathe, just breathe. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing. I know you wanna die. So we got, two, we got two main songs this week. There's nothing holding me back. I actually don't like some of the words in that song. I think it's very low vibrational. It's just like, he's just so stuck in this toxic relationship. Maybe I don't like it because that's where I used to be like a decade ago. Where it's like, I want to follow where she goes. Hell no. It needs to be an equal joint decision. Um, I think about her and she knows it. I want to let her take control. Mm, she'll need some self-love. No. Um, I'm loving, I'm living, I'm picking it up. I don't even know if that's on the right key. Right now, I'm in a state of mind. I want to be like all the time. Ain't got no tears left to cry. Yeah, you got no tears left to cry because you're sick of all the bullshit and you're changing it and you're and you're doing what you need to do to get you to where you want to be. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Say, oh my gosh. Anyways, my love. <laughs> Have an amazing week. Have an amazing week. Follow me over on Instagram so I can chat with you during the week. And I'm also going to have the the screenshot of all of these cards on Instagram. And then you can screenshot the card that your angels are saying. This is the main card that I want you to focus on for this week. Um, it was highly requested on Instagram stories last Saturday when I did the poll. 97% of you beautiful high vibe MK love fam around the globe said that you wanted it to come back and you were engaged so much on that post. So um, I'll be talking to you over there and please make sure that you get ready to release anyone or anything that doesn't serve your highest good. If that scares the absolute bejeebus out of you, then good, because it's exactly what you need to do. Sending you so much love and healing for a truly beautiful week. If you're struggling and you need help and you've gotten to the stage where you're like, Mel, I'm willing to do whatever I need to to get to this state of emotional freedom, then please download my free exclusive training because I'm gonna teach you how I went from toxic relationship, you know, childhood trauma, emotional abuse in this four year relationship to about to be marrying the man of my dreams and living my dream life and working with the most beautiful clients that I'm manifested. I get to talk to these beautiful women every single week for an hour and a half and help them heal that emotional pain. Like that is a blessing. Like that is a blessing. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you've joined me on the live chat, thank you so much. I don't think you realize how much I appreciate you stopping whatever you're doing and joining me for the live chat, which is the first half an hour which this video is live and I'm chatting to you real time. Like I really appreciate you and I know you by first name, well most of you. Um, yeah, last week, a massive shout out to my beautiful Katie, who is one of my former clients, and to Beck, my beautiful Beck from Canada. You two beautiful souls were jumping on that live chat as soon as I, as soon as the premiere button went live. So you two, I love you, I love you, I love you. And the rest of you, I love you as well. But those two are extra, <laughs> extra special to me, especially last week. And all of the work that those two, that you girls have both been doing, like Beck, holy flip, 
I feel like I already know your lives because <laughs> I've spoken to you so much. Anyways, I'm gonna love and leave you. Have an amazing week. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you next week. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.